Hi guys! In today's video I'm going to be doing slime baking and I'm going to be making a chocolate cake. I try to make this as realistic as possible, this has been an idea that I've had for a while, so I really hope that you enjoy it and if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. To get started I just started by following a traditional chocolate cake recipe but substituting all of the ingredients for slime ingredients. So for the slime egg I actually made the yolk out of a proper slime fully activated and then the egg whites were slightly activated but definitely not enough to look like a slime so it looked like I was just just pouring glue but when I got round to mixing it all in just because it was slightly activated I found that this mixed so smoothly and it really did look like it was eggs and when it mixed up it looked so so good and so realistic I was so happy with this The next ingredient I made and added was some slime butter and I achieved this by putting some lotion in the freezer just to get that cool texture of like really smooth and then I dyed it with some food dye as well just to get it to a butter texture and colour as well and like you can see this didn't melt down the slime at all and sometimes lotion can have glycerin in it and really melt it down but I actually found that this activated the slime so like you can see here I haven't added anything else and it's just activated it perfectly and it's coming away from the sides and just moving really beautifully. So I decided to move on to the next step, which is some slime milk. And I just added some glue and water together and mixed it up and put it into a little container. I added some vanilla essence, some slime chocolate, which is just some um, dyed glue, which looked really good and gloopy. And then slime sugar, which is just some fake snow that's not activated. You can kind of see it expanding on the corners. Some slime flour, which is just corn flour, slime baking powder, which is some more fake snow. And then I drizzled it off with some slime chocolate before mixing it all in. And the really great thing about this is that it didn't actually need any activator because this was such a dry mix. After I mixed this all in, I just added it to a pan. This was just a detachable one and I smushed it down just so it created a really even surface. I did put this in my very realistic oven, which is definitely not a fake one. Originally, I was gonna try and turn this exact texture into the end of the slime cake, but I found that this one looked way more realistic. It ended up being like an icy slime, and I added loads of dye in there as well, so I got a really realistic texture, and this sounded gorgeous as well. I was so happy with how this turned out. It was just so good and looked just like dough. It also felt like it. I made the chocolate out of some candle wax, and then the actual melted chocolate part is, again, glue, and this mixed really, really smoothly with the lotion, which worked really well. And again, this mixed really beautifully. It really did look like it was a whipped um, kind of icing mix. But the dye kind of like darkens over time. So I found that this went to a really deep chocolate color, which you can't see right here, but it did happen after a couple of hours went by. So this is what it ended up like. And I was really happy with how this texture turned out as well. It was just so, so creamy and it held its shape pretty well. Then it was time to ice the cake. So I had a detachable kind of container where you could just pop the bottom off. And this is really good just because the slime really stuck to the container container as you can see here. Um, so I just took that off and it ended up looking great on the bottom actually. I was really worried with how the texture would turn out but it ended up looking way more cake-like on the bottom and yeah really doughy and good. So then I got my icing and like you can see this is the darkened version and it spreads so beautifully. This looks so realistic and you know when you're making something you're like okay now I'm really hungry. I was so hungry filming this and it took a while to spread just because it was so thick. I really wanted a thick consistency just so it was super doughy and I had loads of icing like I like my cakes and like you can see it was just so much fun to spread around as well and you could create any design I was thinking of that but then I was like you know what no I'm gonna try and create a tiered cake so I scraped some icing off just to level it off and then I plopped the next layer on and this was the exact same as the base but because they're quite like flimsy textures because I wanted it to be a super realistic cake texture I did find that they kind of like splattered on top of each other so the tears didn't work too well but it's still really was fun to ice and layer up.
Since I couldn't get a perfect slice when I was cutting it just because it was so doughy, it ended up looking really like a brownie to me. I decided I want to make a freak shake. And if you're not familiar with the concept, it's a milkshake with loads of toppings. So I added like a fake Oreo, some fake chocolate, and then some more syrup and some whipped cream. And then when I went to put the cake on, I realized the cake was like three times the size of the glass. So it would have just broken off and looked awful. So I ended up just mixing this in alone. And then I mixed in the cake at the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed the slime baking, do let me know and I will do more in the future. And yeah, I will see you very soon. Bye.